Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. We're going to do something, we're going to change it up a little bit today, guys. Uh, first of all, the beer we're going to do is Devil's Tail. It is a collaboration effort between Coronado Brewing, and, uh, and they're out of Coronado, California, and Devil's Backbone, which is right up the road here. I mean, we got a West Coast brewery company and an East Coast brewery company that's collaborated to brew this beer. Uh, and it's an IPA. They actually did a black IPA version of this, but I didn't see that one. This is the regular IPA version of this. It is a seven and a half percenter. The IBUs are 75. Anytime we can have collaboration instead of litigation, that's the way to go. I mean, when you hear about these breweries suing one brewery suing another and over names or something like that, that's a, that's a bunch of horse hockey. I mean, come on, guys. We're all in the same boat here, and any time that you get the lawyers involved, the only people that's going to win are the freaking lawyers. They're going to get money, and then uh, the, the brewery that you're suing is, is, is going to have a sour taste in the mouth, and then the, the brewery that's doing the suing uh, is probably going to get some bad publicity over doing that. Usually, not always, but collaboration is always better than litigation. That's what I'm going to say about this one. And I'm going to apologize up front. This may be a long video uh, because we're going to do uh, some samplings in several different glasses. I'm going to talk to you about this glass. And what this glass is, is right here. Very nice looking IPA, but it's not glass. It's plastic. No BPAs. Very easy to take with you on a motorcycle, out to the pool, anywhere you go uh, outside to a pool, uh, the first sign you see, usually no lifeguard on duty, and then the second one you see is no glass while you're at the pool. You can pour your beer in this, not going to break, you can drop it, it's not going to bust, this is a win-win. Why nobody's thought of this yet, I do not know. Uh, I'm going to give you some information about this glass, or this cup, you might say. Uh, I got this letter. Uh, the guy reached out to me. His name is Joel Bigham. He's the president of Fermented Reality. And this is called B Cups. And uh, I'm going to put all this information in the description so you can go check it out. You can get four of these cups, IPA cups, for 15 bucks with shipping included. I mean, you can't, you can't hardly buy anything for that. Shipping included now. But, uh, like I said, he's got it in the letter here. B-Cups are great for rooftop bars, beach bars, poolside, boating, hiking, hiking, camping, picnics, barbecues, RV, anywhere glasses don't really work. B-Cups are ideal. And like I said, I'm going to give you the information in the website where you can go check it out. But you can get these and they go everywhere. And you don't have to worry about them breaking. That's a big win-win. So, uh, what I've done here, guys, uh, I've got three different glasses of my sovereign beer glass. I've got the uh, typical dogfish head style glass, very thin glass. You drop this, it's going to break. It's going to break real easy. So, you got to be really careful with these thin glasses. So, uh, I figured I'd bring out a bomber where I could pour a little bit in each glass and do a aroma taste, aroma and taste uh, on each one. But, uh, I'm here to basically talk about the beer and talk about this bee cup. So uh, let's get on with this one, guys, so it doesn't end up being a 30 minute review. How to use, I think I told you it was 75 on this one, 7.5%. Commercial description this is a tale of shared passion, mojo, and simpatico that spells the impetus of this fine collaborative birthed IPA. 
picture at Washington, D.C., May 2014, brewers hailing from both sides of the country found each other in a tightly packed room. They share beers, stories, and laughs, forming a friendship that will stretch far beyond. Savor the two-day beer and food feet that brought them together. Skip ahead to follow the same year. It's plain to see 2014 has been a good year for both factions, with Coronado Brewing Company being named champion mid-sized brewing company and brewmaster of the World Beer, World Beer Cup and Devil's Backbone Brewing Company capturing mid-sized brewery of the year at the GABF. Such feats are made to be celebrated, and in the brewing industry, beer is how that's done. This is the first of two collaboration beers. This dynamic duel will brew an IPA collaboration with Virginia's award-winning Devil's Backbone Brewing Company. This beer has bright citrus and tropical fruit character care, uh, Centennial and Mosaic Hops. love Mosaic Hops, and I, I grow a little bit of Centennial outside. This beer has... Uh, burnt, uh, this beer has a burst of woody uh, rusticity from the northern brewer hops. I actually grow northern brewer outside. Big fluffy hop cones on those. Consider it a chapter one of an epic saga that's only getting started. That's a very, very good, guys. Food pairings for this beer. It's going to be your typical IPA. Its cuisine is curried in a tie. Cheeses of peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp, blue cheddar, your more pungent cheeses. And the meat is poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. And I will add grilled meat, the glass fire. As you can see, we're going to do three different uh, glasses, the dogfish style head, the solid beer glass, and the bee cup. And you could use anything, pint, Becker, Stein, Nonic, Tumbler, Sidell. And since it's an IPA, uh, it's not recommended. It's at, almost at the double stage at 7.5% not recommended for extended salaries. And what I'm going to fuss about here, they only brewed this, this is a brewed once beer. And the writing is silk screen on the bottle. And they knew they was only going to brew it once, and I can find no date on here. What's up with that, guys? What's up with that, Coronado? What's up with that, Devil's Backbone? You only brewed this beer once. You had to have this bottle of silk screen and printed. Why didn't you have the date printed on there? The vintage, or the month, the day, and the year. We need that, we need that information on here. Both of you guys know better than that. So, I'm hacking on both of you. We're come, great that you collaborated on this beer, but it's horse hockey that you put no bottled on date on this. This is an IPA, guys. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the drill. You know if I get my hands on it, I'm going to call you out on it. That's what I'm doing. Where's the damn date? All right, enough of that horse hockey. I'm going to put this letter down. I will put this information in the description about the bee cups. Joel has asked me to, to do, he asked me to actually get a, a red solo cup or a solo cup for it. I'm not a big fan of solo cups. You can't see what's in the cup unless you're trying to hide it from Johnny Law. We want it in, in some kind of clear glass so we can see what's going on in the glass. All right, let's get the cap off of this and get it poured. Wow, big hiss. Big monster hiss. It's got the Coronado cap on it, not the devil's backbone. And like I said, we're going to pour all three of these. A lot of carbonation. A lot of carbonation. And I'm going to set this ball up here onto the side where y'all can see it. This, the star of the show is the beer, but the glassware is, is uh, coming up pretty close. So that's what you got. We got a good finger head on all three glasses with the four that I did. Uh, to me, the color in these two glasses it looks a, a bit darker, and that's just because of the shape of the glass. With this big bulb on this solid beer glass, it changes the color the way the light hits it a little bit. Very, very orange and tangerine in color, but it's a lot lighter in the thinner part down here. Most excellent looking beer in the glass. And I am, by waving it around and pouring it, I am getting some big tropical fruit notes, some big hop juiciness to this beer. So, 
without further ado, let's get a nose on them and see what we can got. And see if we tell any differences in, in, in the shape of the glass and what we got. To me, guys, I'm not getting a big difference in the nose. So, using the B cup is not going to make any aroma differences. It's going to be just as uh, aromatic in this plastic cup as it is in the dogfish style head or the solid beer glass. Tropical fruit, pine, grapefruit, pineapple, maybe some mango, some oranges and tangerines. Wonderful smelling beer. Let's have time. Let's give it a taste. See what we got with this beer. Looking at that cup, unless you picked it up, you would looking at that cup, you would swear it is a glass. You would never know by looking at that that that's not a real glass. And if I tap this glass on the corner of the human door, it's going to explode like a light bulb. This glass is very fragile. This glass is very thin. You have to treat this glass with. I mean, I'd, be, I'd even be scared to put this glass in a dishwasher, it's so thin. Something might lean up against it and crack it. Uh, this is a hand wash glass only, no doubt. Very similar in style with the ridges, the big bulb, and, the, and, a, and a little bit smaller top. Very unlike this glass. This glass weighs more than both of those, probably three of them put together. This is a very heavy glass. Now, if you dropped it on a concrete floor, I'm sure it probably would explode. But it is so durable. I mean, this glass is more likely going to be around for years and years and years in my household. Well, guys. I can differentiate no differences between the glass. Now this has a little tulip on the top to me which lends a little more aromatics but I'm not getting out by smelling these beers. It smells just the same in this plastic cup as it does in this $35 glass. You get four of these for $15 shipped to your house. And they will not break. Mm. Well, the bottom line to me, guys, is mm, this, this cup is just as good as this glass just as good as this glass. But the best part about it, did I tell you it won't break? I think it did. That will not break. It goes everywhere. Camping, biking, uh, anywhere. Poolside. Pack those in your knapsack. Put them on your bicycle. Put them in your motorcycle. Put them in your glove box. It's not going to break. And anybody looking at it is going to say, well, that's a nice glass. Where did you get that? And you just chuck it to them once you drink your beer. Say, so, yeah, check it out. You don't have to worry about it. You can sell it like a football. Very nice. Very impressed with this glass. Very impressed with this glass. I would probably have one or two of these in the motorcycle. Might throw one in the truck. And uh, 
put one up in the in the cabinet and might even do some beer reviews with it later on down the road. Because so you don't have to worry about this. I mean, if it falls over on the floor, you might spill a little bit of beer, but the glass is not going to break. Wow. Very nice job, Joel. Very impressed with the cup that you designed here to come out with. Very reasonably priced. Just as aromatic as either one of these glasses. Uh, differentiate. No differences in the aromas. Very nice. Very impressed. All right, guys. So we're going to sit back and uh, i got three glasses to drink here. I'm going to have to bring the other half in and, and let her sip on a couple of these. And uh, we'll come back and do the final chug and grade on this particular beer. Very nice beer. The only thing I can fuss about this beer is it doesn't have a date on the bottle. They only brewed it once. And it's a collaboration between two great breweries. And neither one of them thought to put a date on it. I don't understand that. Blows my mind, guys. It really does. All right. I'll be back. I'm going to do the final chug and grade. And uh, see where the beer ends up. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. I actually emptied the dogfish glass and poured it into the other two and let the other half uh, have one of these glasses while I was sipping on it because I didn't want to drink the whole 22 ounce by myself. Uh, whenever I get these bombers, I usually share the other half. So, But uh, as far as I'm concerned, we're going to go to the beer first. Uh, the beer is very nice. I'm going to finish this one because uh, this is half of what the review is about is this B cup. Very, very nice. Almost indestructible, guys. I mean, you probably put it on, on the ground and run it over with a vehicle and maybe be able to crack it and bust it. But dropping it or, or, or slamming something up against it, this glass is going to last you, you know. And you get four of them for $15 delivered to your door. That's hard to beat. That really is hard to beat. So let's do the final chug on this one. Wonderful aroma. I mean, the glass is uh, very typical of what the dogfish glass looks like, other than the tulip style. Uh, very nice, very nice. If somebody sees this in your hand, they're going to swear it's glass. I mean, if you go to the pool at a motel or wherever with this, they're going to say, You can't have that glass in here. And you go, It's plastic, dude. Go away. <laughs> Follow each other. running down my lip and down my shirt oh yeah very nice impressive glass impressive beer the only thing unimpressive about this is no date and I'm gonna look one more time but there is nothing on here guys and both of these brewers <clears throat> know better than that. Devil's Backbone and Coronado. You got a West Coast brewery that makes awesome beers, and you got an East Coast brewery that's won multiple awards for their beers. Very impressive brewery. And they're only a couple hours up the road for me. And I, I do consider them a local beer. Uh, I do enjoy a lot of their beers. They do make some tasty stuff. But to be a, a brewed once beer, and have the, all this silk screen on the bottle, they're not going to reuse it again. They don't want to have a date on it somewhere, guys. And like I tell you all the time, they choose not to do this to extend the shelf life. That is the bottom line, that is the only reason. So I got a problem with that. I, I got a serious problem with that. So uh, they need to do that. They need to step up to the plate. Whether Coronado dates all the rest of the stuff or not, or whether Devil's Backbone dates all the rest of the stuff or not. They brewed this beer one time. Self-screen label or to have a date. So as far as I'm concerned, this is a nine beer and an eight bottle. And that's what I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it to eight. I do think it's an A beer. But the lack of the date on this brewed once beer on a silk screen labeled bottle is unacceptable to me. So that's where I'm gonna leave it. Guys, uh, there's no, there's no excuse in my book for that. There really isn't. Especially when you get two brewmasters from both breweries. You can't figure out that they need to do that. Somebody needs to slap both of them upside their silly little jaws as far as I'm concerned. So uh, That would probably keep me from buying another one of these beers. Just because it doesn't have the date on it. It's an IPA. So, and this is the other half class. I'm not going to drink what's in that one. But I could not differentiate... From the aromas from this one, this one, or this one. The glass is definitely winning. The glass is a 10 for me, guys. It is definitely worth picking up. And like I said, I'm going to put all this information 
uh, on the beer review where you can go check out the website and if you want to order four of those uh, for fifteen dollars delivered to your door great deal great deal not to worry about it breaking uh, or whatever I mean a great glass to, to take wherever you want to go whether you're backpacking camping biking motorcycling whatever going by the pool or setting out on a deck you don't have to worry about it if it drops off the table or gets knocked off a dog's tail hits it the beer might spill but the glass is going to survive guys I mean that's what it's all about uh, purchasing something like this it's going to last you forever so with that being said eight on the beer ten on the cup the beer cup I hate to call it a glass because it's actually not glass it's plastic but it looks like a glass nobody will ever know that's not glass in your hand they will not so uh, and you, you will because it's, it's a lot lighter than a, a typical glass would be. But it's uh, almost indestructible, guys. So, with that being said, uh, eight for me on this one. Could be a nine if I had a date. Over to rate, I'm a beer advocate. Beer advocate is 88. If I was putting a numeric rating on this because it doesn't have a date, I would probably give it a 91. That's probably where I would put the beer. If I had a date on it, it would probably get to 94 or to 95, maybe even to 96. Definitely would be a, a, a notch above what it is because of uh, uh, the lack of the dating on it. And over to Rate Beer, Rate Beer says 97 overall, 97 in the style. They're impressive numbers from those guys over there. I might even step up and say it's a 97 if it had a date on it. It's, uh, it's pretty tasty. Uh, a very nice uh, collaboration effort between these two great breweries. So if we can just get them to step up to the plate and date their shit, man. That's 2015, what the hell's wrong with you? Got to have a date. Got to have a date. So, uh, and uh, it's got the ABV on it, 7.5 written right here, but they like to think that we need to know uh, when it was put in a bottle. So, shit on them for that. That's what I say. All right, we've got the, all the rates. The beer is pretty damn tasty. Uh, the glass is awesome, or the cup. The B cup is what it's called. It's awesome. Like I said, I'll put all the information on there, guys. In case you want to check it out, Joel is done a pretty, uh, Pretty nice uh, invention here, and I uh, kind of want to shout him out and, and, and give him some support, some support for that. And all you guys that's interested in this, nice glass to put in your, uh, you get four of them. A nice one to put in your case, and put in your glove box, and put in your saddle bag, put in your knapsack, take out to the pool. It's a good glass to go everywhere you want to go, not to worry about it breaking, guys. So, good deal. Let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow, guys. See everybody then.